You will be aware of using design templates to quickly change the whole appearance of your presentation. You will have worked with this at earlier levels. If I switch on the task pane using view task pane, then we can use this right hand side task pane to choose various options and we want slide design. There are a number of built in slide designs that you can use. Finding one that you like, we click on the menu to the right hand side and apply it to either all the slides, you can see there the effect, or we can choose just a specific slide to apply a different design template to. Now, imagine that you've just created a, a presentation and you really like the appearance for a, and you're working for an organization, you think it'd be a good idea if you always use that same design every single time. I'm going to show you how we can do that. So I'm just going to close this presentation and open a new one. Now then, everything to do with appearance, as you know, is done in the master slide view. I'm just going to make a few simple changes just to show the effect. I'll change the slide background. I'm going to keep things nice and simple. I'm going to change the placeholder. These are all skills that we've been looking at recently. Make it a little bit transparent. Perhaps change the font colour. And perhaps change the bullet style. Okay, so we could keep on going lots of changes. You could put logos on there, you could change the position of the placeholders, you could do all kinds of things, but we'll just see how this works for the effect. Once we've got our design built, we use File and Save As and save the as type change from presentation to a design template. If your new design template a, a specific name, And just notice at the top in the save in box, the computers change the location to the templates folder. That's a really good thing, and I shall show you why shortly. So we're saving in templates, we've got a proper name, we're saving it as a design template. We now click on save. Okay, we've saved that document, we'll close it down. Let's go back now to our original document that we had open and show you how we can apply the template that we've created. Again, using the right hand side, use slide design. The one we want won't be in the list, <clears throat> so we come down to browse. Browse shows us all the templates that are on our computer. We select the one that we want and then apply. And it applies that design to our presentation. One of the benefits, as I mentioned earlier, of saving in the templates folder is if you click to choose a new document and use create a document based on templates on my computer, then the templates that you've created appear in this dialog box. There's the one I created and click on OK and it creates a new presentation based on that design that you had created earlier. So design templates we can get to using the design button or the task pane at the by switching on the task pane. We can choose one from the list. We can apply the presentation to a single slide or all the slides or we can create our own by doing file save as and changing it to a design template. Once we've created our own, we can use the Browse button to find that template and apply it to any presentation we like. Design templates.